Okay, we're going to look at the number 6.42 and we're going to round this to one decimal place. So that means one place after the decimal point. So we know that the number must end here. Now we're concerned with the next number which is the number 2. And if we look at the number line and we plot the number 6.42 on this number line we can see that 6.4 will be here and the number at the end of the number line will be 6.5. Now the number in the middle of the number line must be 6.45. Six point four one, six point four two, six point four three, six point four four, six point four five. Now, if I look at the number six point four two and I insert this on the number line, I can see it belongs right here. Six point four two. And I now need to ask myself whether that number is closer to six point four or if it's closer to 6.5 because it's not greater than 6.45 it belongs in the first half of the number line I can see that this number would be rounded to 6.4 okay now we're going to look at the number 6 point four seven and again we're going to round this to one decimal place so as we said before we know that that's one place after the decimal point so the number is going to end here now this time we're going to look at the number seven which is to the right of this number and if we insert this on our number line, again we can see that 6.4 is at the beginning of our number line, 6.5 is at the end, and 6.45 is right in the middle, and that's because we have 6.41, 6.42, 6.43, and here is 6.45. Now we're going to uh, insert 6.47 onto our number line and this time I can see that 6.47 belongs right here. Six point four seven. Right, so I ask myself, does 6.47 belong to, is it closer to 6.5? Well, is it closer to 6.4? And this time I can see that it's closer to 6.5. So therefore, if I round this to one decimal place, I can see that 6.47 rounded to one decimal place will become 6.5. Okay, this time we're going to round a number to one decimal place, but we're not going to use the number line. We're going to try it without. So we're going to look at the number 7.52 and we're going to round to one decimal place. So, if we look at the number 7.52, that's one place after the decimal point. I know the number is going to have to end right there. So this time I look at the number 2. Now I have to ask myself, is that number less than 5? In which case I would round the number down to 7.5, it will stay as 7.5. Or is the number 5 or more, in which case it will be rounded up to 7.6. So I can see that it's 7.5. I can see that the number 2 is less than 5, so this number will become 7.5, 
rounded to one decimal place. And again, if I look at another number, 7.55, and I round this to one decimal place, I know that that's one place after the decimal point, so my number will end here. And next, this time, I look at the number 5, which is the number to the right of this number here. And this time I ask myself the question, is this number less than 5, in which case this would become 7.5, or is it 5 or more, in which case it would round up to 7.6. Now I can see that it's 5, so it belongs to the 5 or more, and so I round this number up to 7.6.